rules for finding the oxidation number. So first is, write down, element has zero oxidation number in natural form like sodium. Example, sodium. So it is the natural form of sodium. So what is the oxidation state of sodium? Zero. zero. So it has zero oxidation state. Other example, O2. So O2 is the natural form of oxygen. So it has two oxygen. Both have zero oxidation state. O3. So it has zero. If an element exists alone or combined with same element, combined with same element, then oxidation state will be zero then oxidation state will be zero. For example, sodium, it is alone, therefore, it has oxidation state equal to zero. O2, so here oxygen is combined with other oxygen, that is same element, therefore, the oxygen state of oxygen will be zero. O3, here oxygen is combined with other oxygen, therefore, oxygen state will be zero. Other example is hydrogen. Hydrogen. So hydrogen is combined with other hydrogen, that is same element. Therefore, oxygen state will be zero. All halogens like F2. What is the oxygen state of F2? Zero. Fluorine has zero oxygen state. Why? Because one fluorine combined with other fluorine. Clear? If we have carbon, so what is the oxygen state? It is alone. It has zero oxygen state. And if we have carbon 14, carbon 14, so this is the isotope. So what is the oxygen state? Zero. Zero. So oxygen state does not depend on isotope. If an element has charge, then oxidation number will be equal to, then oxidation number will be equal to charge on element, charge on element. For example, if we have sodium plus, then what will be the oxidation number? If we have F minus O2 minus, what will be the oxidation number? So sodium has oxidation number. So it is element having charge. So for element having charge, Oxidation number is equal to charge on given element. So, what is the oxidation number? Plus 1. What is the oxidation number of fluorine? Minus 1. Minus one. Yes. So, what is the oxidation number of oxygen? Negative 2. Yes. Element of First A group, first A group has always plus one oxygen state, has always plus one oxygen state in its compound, in its 
compound. For example, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Clear? So let us take example. If we have NaCl, if we have K2O, so what is the oxygen state of sodium here? What is the oxygen state of potassium here? So we know that the element of first A group has always plus one oxygen state in its compound. Therefore, it has plus one, it has plus one. K3N, potassium nitride. So what is the oxygen state of nitrogen? So not nitrogen, potassium. So we know that element of first group has always plus one oxygen state in its compound. So it has plus one. Element of second A group, second A group has always plus two oxygen state, has always plus two oxygen state in its compound, in its compound. For example, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, estroncium, barium and radium. For example, if we have calcium oxide, calcium peroxide, So we have given compound, now we have to find out the oxygen state of calcium and barium. So we know that the element of second group has always plus two oxygen state in its compound. Therefore it has plus two, it has also plus two, it has also. Halogen has, halogen has generally generally halogen has generally minus one oxygen state minus one oxygen state for example fluorine bromine aldine so halogen has generally <coughs> minus one oxygen state in its compound, in its compound. For example, NaF, so you have to find the oxygen state of fluorine. So you know that fluorine has always minus one oxygen state. So it has minus one. Other example, we have calcium fluoride so what is the oxygen state of minus. fluorine so we know that halogen has always so not always generally minus one oxygen state therefore it has another example is calcium chloride so what is the oxygen state of chlorine minus one clear Halogen has also positive charge with oxygen and more electronegative halogen. For example, with fluorine, with fluorine. If we have IF3, so tell me the oxygen state of iodine and fluorine. So we know that fluorine has always minus one oxygen state because in fluorine and iodine, 
so you must remember the electronegativity order <laughs> so electronegativity order is this fluorine is more electronegative compared to chlorine flowed by bromine and iodine so this is the electronegativity order so must write down electronegativity order so down the group electronegativity decreases yes across the period electronegativity increases so in if3 which is more electronegative so f is more electronegative we know that halogen has minus 1 clear so you have to find the oxygen share of iodine so charge must be balanced so we will study the new next rule for the neutral compound the sum of the net oxygen net must be zero so it has minus 1 and it has let us assume it has x and how many iodine atom one plus how many fluorine atom three. three which is equal to zero it means x minus three equal to zero so x equal to three it means it is equal to plus three yes or no so halogen has also positive oxygen state with oxygen and more electronegative halogen yes for example we have <laughs> i cl 3 so you know that in chlorine iodine which is more electronegative chlorine is more electronegative therefore it has minus 1 iodine has x so net charge must be zero therefore x plus 3 minus 1 equal to zero so x minus 3 equal to zero x equal to 3 that is x equal to plus 3 associated